Yes, it's a big change. The 180. Your life will be the same. The 180. So let's talk about the Black Panther Challenge. What mm. prompted you to start that? And when did you recognize it was a moment that people were participating in nationally? I have a brother who's eight years old. Um, you know, huge age gap. You're talking yeah. 20 years, so whatever it is. Anyway, it's yeah, a huge yeah. age gap. And he was at my apartment. Um, a few years back before Black Panther came out and they showed a trailer for Black Panther. He, we were in the middle of playing Jenga. He must have been six at the time. He was cheating. And, um, <laughs> and, and <laughs> I love you called I, him out. Yeah, you know, I hope, you know, he knows what it is. But, um, you know, there was a trailer for Black Panther and I saw how excited that he was and he said something that like changed just my perception on it. Like I knew how important it was, but I didn't, you know, I, I'm a big comic cat. I'm like, oh, I can't wait for Black Panther. But he said, he said, wow, he looks like me. And I was like, oh, mm. okay. That's, that's something, right? Um, because it wasn't just like getting a character in a ensemble cast. Right. It's a world built around blackness. Like he looks like me. He is the moment, right? Yeah. So I, so I said, okay. Maybe we'll take a few kids to see the movie, you know, um, who wouldn't have had the opportunity. Like maybe when I was younger, I wouldn't have had the opportunity. So mm -hmm. um, what I decided to do was um, ask a few friends for, you know, money. I said, I'll put in, I think it was like a thousand. I said, I'll put in a thousand dollars. Y'all put in, you know, a few hundred if you got it, whatever. Yeah. And my mother actually said, she said, well, why don't you try that GoFundMe thing? I'm like, what? You know, she's like, try to go fund me thing. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like what you do, right? You work for marketing stuff. I was like, what? <laughs> she's like, oh, well, you know, you work for stuff that raises and gets people to do stuff. Just get people to donate money. So I was like, uh, okay, whatever. So I built this strategy mm. um, of how I could get it to like $10,000. And, you know, I was like begging celebrities online, begging people who have like platforms, kind of like similar, funny, funny enough, similar to like my platform now. Like, hey, can you please retweet? Hey, can you please share? Mm -hmm. And I went to sleep one night and I woke up and I think the, the campaign was at like $6,000. I was like, oh man, we might hit 10,000 in the next few weeks, whatever. Yeah. And I woke up to like a billion messages. People were like, you won the shade room. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, yes, the shade room. I'm like, what? They're like, you're in the shade room at Good Morning America and Huffington Post. I'm like, huh? So I looked at the campaign that had been retweeted by like Chelsea Clinton and a few other people like while wow. I was asleep. And it, it was at like forty thousand dollars and I woke up from like the six thousand it was at. So what what I have to press a button. <laughs> Whoa, that is yeah. such a that's wow, that is yeah, incredible. yeah. So I don't I, you know that was wild. And that's oh, you know, yeah. and from that moment I was just kind of like, oh, okay, and GoFundMe reached out to me, like, hey, who are you? Um, because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who are you? Um, what are you really using the money for? So we worked it all out, and they got to know me, and we built a great relationship, you know, yeah. to this day. And I think it became a – I knew it was a global moment when the Ellen Show had me come on. Um, and that's when I sat with, um, you know, uh, Chadwick, um, mm. you know, um, rest in peace, Chadwick.